Hey folks, it's Fridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Boulder Canyon. I'm just watching the Turner come up here to the very edge right there. We've left a little tiny bit of grass there, which I'm hoping is not going to cause us any major problems. The, re the what, the, the rake, the, the hay Turner is actually doing a pretty good job at the moment. So far, they seem to be able to cope with everything that we've thrown at them. What I'm thinking is we'll let them keep going until they say that they can't find the uh, grass anymore. And then I'll just move them straight up to the top edge over there. And then let them work back towards the center part of the field. That might be the better way of doing this, I think. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll sort of play that one by ear and we'll see how that one goes. Let's just jump back to you a second and close that up. That's all emptied out now. And... Fold the combine. I'll deal with the rest of the combine a bit later. That's not an important job to do right now. Uh, next thing that we want to do is start you up. What is with the spritzing trees over there? Uh, see, you know, there's one light right there, like just in line with the tractor now, right in, in through the middle there. There's a tree that's doing some weird, hinky kind of stuff. I don't know what's going on there. Um, anyway. Start you going along here. Now, if this is working correctly, it will turn to the right when it gets to the end of the field. But we all know that this game does like to mess us around sometimes. And it doesn't always turn the way that it should. We've also, I just realized, come and start this job with next to no fuel at all in our tractor. And it's probably not the best thing to go and do. We probably do want a little bit of go-go juice in the track. To help H has completed their task. I thought you'd be able to go a bit further than that. I just need to make sure that this one turns to the right and doesn't turn to the left. It's probably going to turn to the left. They usually do. They always seem to turn the way you don't want. Oh, no, he's actually going to go the right way. That's, that's good. Okay. I Color me surprised. I didn't think he was going to do that. Uh, you here, I'm going to actually let you work a bit longer from this side, despite the fact that you obviously clearly don't like it. Um, and that way, then I can sort of start coming down from the top of the hill. But I wanted to get past where the edge of the stone is first uh, before I start working from the top. But, um, yeah, I, I just well, I'll have to keep a close eye out for when the signal comes up to say that it's not doing it. You right over here. We're going to start you up again and let's get going. Right, bailing. Let's get as much bailing as we can done under our belt today. If we can finish all of the bailing today, that would be great. I'm hopeful it's going to be the last lot of hay that we're going to need to make on this series. I do have a, a very real hope that this is going to be the last lot of hay that we're going to have to make. I mean, maybe we're going to have to do more, but... Um, I, at the moment, I don't really know. I think we might be able to do it. We may better get away with just this being the last lot. And the next lot can be silage. Uh, we do actually need a bit more silage, so I was, you know, we're not going to be able to sell the next lot that we do. The, the next lot is going to have to be silage that we keep. It's quite appalling, really. Like part way along there, those little patches of grass that we're leaving behind. I didn't realize we were leaving behind quite so much when we were doing our mowing, but it's... There's just that little uneven patch right there in the middle, isn't there? Um, if we were to stay here, like if we had targets that were going on much longer than what we have at the moment, I would come back and rework that, uh, level it out a bit better, and then uh, plow it back and, and plant it once more. But we don't, we're, we're, we're hopefully not going to be, I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. Um... I keep saying that we're nearly there. We're almost done. We've hardly got anything left. Let's let's be honest here. We do have a phenomenal amount still to do. We've got to get an entire pen full of pigs. And we've got to finish filling up the cattle pen yet. That one's only got like 110 cows in it. So we've still got several cows to go before that one can be filled up. You are... You've still got several passes. That, that The rake has got quite a few passes to go before it reaches the big stone up there. And there's the hay turner gone up to the top end of the field over that side. Is it going to turn round or is it... Well, what it does is it turns round and then it gives up once it's done the turning around. It decides it can't go any further. And now... I did say that I wanted it to 
start from the top edge of the field and work back towards but i'm now looking at where the rake is and i'm thinking that we might be better off if i go and get this one start you up and i'm gonna bring you into here like this i'm just gonna start it there we'll put the hired help going once more let that one go. we're gonna follow we're just gonna follow this one down to the end of the field here i might actually have to skip over and follow that rake a minute i don't know if he's got enough room to do two passes I'm hoping that this one can go right to the other side of the big stone. If it can, I can. I don't actually need to go and move it to the other side of the big stone. I, like, I, I don't need it to carry one. I want to get to the big, the big stone, and then I want to start it working close to where the rake is at the moment. And that should then be able to sort of finish out everything down there, and then we can do the whole meeting up bit in, in a minute. I have no idea if anybody understands anything I just said. I understand what I just said, but I just sort of played it back in my head. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not entirely sure that anybody's really going to understand that. That's not entirely all English. But yes, that one is going where I want it to go. He's, he's gone far enough over. So now what I'll do is I'll bring you back over this side. And I'm going to drop the hay turner down here like this right there and i'm gonna grab that but okay the rake has got plenty of land still to go this one is going to go to that point there and i'm going to get the hired help going it's just reaching over far enough that's good so long as it can reach it, it doesn't have to perform any miracles just as long as it reaches over far enough and then it'll be able to do the short work here hopefully before the rake catches up to it at all and done on there and right you're, you're turning okay you you carry on you you do what you're gonna do and we're gonna go up this way i don't need to worry about you i want to get back to you over here i need the raking to kind of finish as quickly as possible because i want tractors working on the crop field down the bottom i've got to get that one i've got to get it all cultivated now i i do need to spin around quite tight on this one i should have given myself more of a turning circle there before i started the reason that I need to turn quite tight is because I want to I wanna do this one here. I think after this one I can then like start skipping rows. It's because if we're bailing along the side of the hill, the bales are going to have this tendency to slide down the hill a bit. And we could really do without that. So that's why I'm working it one row at a time. See, they do things like that. Uh, I don't want them to roll down or slide down onto the row that is below them on the hill. That's where trouble starts to happen. It looks like, with the raking though, he's going to go all the way up there with the rake. And then he's going to want to do the short work instead of doing the long work. And that little tract with the hay turner is going slower than what the rake is. The rake's doing a, a, a wider pass, which isn't all that helpful. Right, we've, we've gone past the steepest part here. So I can then move up there like that and I can take this one out. And go in, I'll go up this row here. Oh, we might be all right with the rake. He might come back this side with that rake and then start doing the longer row. Oh, no, I don't think he is. I've, at the moment, I have no idea. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that what he'll do is he'll do one more pass. He'll go right past the stone and he'll come all the way over to this side. And then he'll start doing the long runs instead of messing around with the short runs. And if he can do the long runs, then the hay turner can finish doing those short runs on that side and then start working on the rest of the field. I might just have to jump into the tractor with the person on the rake and help them out just to get past that stone there, just in case they try to do anything daft. Let's bring you up to this end over here, and you're doing just fine. I want to go to you here. Now, you sh I uh, want you to go right the way through. Need you to go right the way past the stone and not stop part way. So I'm, I'm just getting prepared to jump off the tractor. He's going to stop right there. I think he might have changed his mind, actually. Just he was getting to the stone and decided he was going to carry on. But by me stopping, hopefully it will... Like if I do that and then I press H, it might do what I want it to do. Okay might there's no guarantee but it might there's absolutely no guarantee at all now i come down over this side and i will get that row right there just 
And we go whizzing up here. I've also, because I got and started the raking again, and it didn't, like, just let the hired help carry on, there is always the possibility this can turn to the left, coming down the hill, rather than continuing on to the right, where I want it to go. We do have to be aware of that possibility. I also want to just check you. You are actually going to do fine if you go to there. Uh, the only problem is I need you to be over a little bit. I'm going to have to make a micro adjustment on this one. It's not a full width over. I have to bring him back over this way a bit, like that. So if he goes to about that point there... I'm not going to be left with a green stripe up across the field. That's what I was slightly concerned about, is whether he's going to leave a green stripe. Now I want to go... Oh, good. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Excellent. That is good news. And we go back to you. I just now need to... You know what? I'm, I'm going to leave that one there a second, and I'll go and bail up a few more bales. We'll keep the tractors moving. And we keep a bit of an eye on what that one's doing up there. I want that one to turn around, come back towards the stone, and we may need to just help it go past the stone so that it can keep doing the long work all the way up across the field. Uh, it will get up to this end and stop once more, which is going to be slightly frustrating, but we've sort of gotten used to that. Um, the, the hired help, like the, the, the turnover now... Uh, it may look like we've still only got two or three people that live down there in that caravan. We've actually got about 30 people that living down there um, because of how quickly we get through our supply of um, workforce. And, um, yeah, they, I, I, I don't know how they figure things out, but they're, they're all basically just lined up waiting for the next person to be fired. And it, it seems to work. Okay, I want to go to you. And are you going to run all the way through or not? You're going to get to there. Don't turn. Only thing I don't want it to do is I don't want it to turn. I want it to, well, technically we do want it to turn. We want it to turn hay. We don't want it to turn anything else. So get to this point here, lower down. There we go. And then keep going. Ah, oh, don't do that rubbish. Why you feel the need to do that? If I go forward that far, it'd be fine. It'll just carry on and go. See? Never understand that. I, I don't really get the logic of how the programming on that particular bit works. I, I know there must be a gaming logic there somewhere, but I don't really understand it. That that bit sort of throws me quite a bit, quite quite a quite a lot bit. Um, but it's it's working. That's that's the main thing. Let me hop back to you, and we'll keep going this way. Couple more passes on here and then I need to just go and have a look at that rake again we'll have to the rake is going he's off down there he's turning around to come back up the other direction we're probably going to have to help the hay turner come turn around and come back again and then the rake once he gets up to here I'm going to want him to start over on the short bits he's catching up with the hay turner pretty quickly and I'm keeping on top of the rake as well we're not doing too bad. What I'm thinking, actually, is if I do another couple passes with the baler here, we might be better off to unhitch the rake on the doits at the moment, take the doits off down the hill and put the cultivator on it and start it cultivating the field down the bottom, then finish the raking with this tractor and then swap over, put the baler back on this tractor and finish up the baling on here. That might actually be a better way of doing it keep things moving so that we can get the planting done in a reasonable amount of time as well because remember we've got a fair bit of planting to get done before I start doing the cultivating I also want to get a bit of uh, fertilizer on that field right I've persuaded myself that is a good idea and you actually managed to turn around I'm impressed I'm impressed we've actually got a worker that seems to know what they're doing right that's not bad going and you go to that point there. Right, so you're going to unhitch there. And this tractor is going to go herring off down across the field. I'm going to go straight down here. Slightly less steep hill. That baler, we're going to leave it exactly where it is. And we're going to hook on that rake. Finish doing the raking. And then we can, once we've done the raking. Well, I might do a little bit more baling first. Then once we've done that, we can sort of finish up the other bits but we need to get you back into the yard here and we need to get a fertilizer spreader on to the back of you it's a big fertilizer spreader these days 
It's quite a big beastie, but it's all good. It's got everything in it that we could possibly want. Let's spin you around a little bit, and then I want to straighten out. There we go, that's what I want. Right, uh, put you onto there like that. Two and a half thousand litres of fertiliser, that should be enough to do this field. So I'm going to go up here. We're going to do once around at the edge of the field to start off with. Like this. Is that going to be enough? There, I want to get this all the way around. I want to cover the field with fertilizer first. Not concerned about the grass field at the moment. This is the one now that we need to keep going. So we'll get... Make sure that we got fertilizer cover. And then as soon as that's done, we can get the cultivator on here. And we can set the cultivator going off around the field a few times. I can use the AI vehicle extension to do the cultivating. It does it pretty well with a cultivator on a three-point linkage. It does struggle with some other versions of it. Um, if you've got a trailed cultivator, it does struggle quite a bit more with it, but um, it's not too bad. Remember, originally, the AI extension was only designed for combines, and it works really well for combines. Um, it's not so good for tractor work, but it does work. It does do it. Um, it's... An extra boost for it, though. That's, that's all it is, an extra boost for the hired help. It's, And I would like them very much to put this kind of um, functionality into the base game. Course play, I think, is too complicated to go into base game, and a lot of people know what I think about course play. Um, if you don't know what I think about it, watch the Alps series. I will tell you everything I think about it, and then some. Um, <laughs> and, um, the problem with this with the standard hired help is that it struggles with go the uneven fields but the AI vehicle extension offers that little extra bit of functionality and I am really surprised that they haven't built this into the base game yet I like I was genuinely surprised that they didn't build it into FS19 I mean we thought they were going to do it in FS17 and I was, so I was really genuinely surprised that they didn't build it into FS19. It's still the same functionality with the hired help. I'm hoping that they will for FS21, but at this point, I'm not holding my breath. I don't think that we're going to see it. It would be wonderful if we could. It would really, really be amazing. It would be game-changing as far as I'm concerned to have a hired help that can actually... Um, figure its own way to work around unevenly shaped fields would be a game changer. It would be absolutely brilliant. And because they are now, um, th they make no secret of the fact that they are focusing on console production. The reason that we don't have FS21 coming out this year is because they're waiting for the new consoles to come out. Um, so the next gen consoles... I'm hopeful about this as well. This is why, you know, I am hopeful with the with all of it together. Indicates to me that we have got a very good chance of actually having something like the AI vehicle extension with with the uh, hired help that is able to get round the fields a little bit better than what our hired help can at the moment, because next gen consoles should be able to cope with it. I suspect one of the reasons that we didn't have anything like this functionality built into this version of the game is because they thought that the consoles would struggle to cope with it. And that's fair enough, maybe the consoles would. But with the next gen consoles, I reckon that they would be able to cope with the AI extension as well. It does do, you know, it does take a bit more out of a system, but they, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they will be able to figure something out with that. Because what it means is that we can then have uneven shaped fields. We can have fields that go right up to the edge of fences and hedgerows and things like that. Which at the moment, we have to have these um, unrealistic fields, don't we? All the fields have got to be absolutely perfectly square or they don't work. And they've got to have big areas all the way around them or they don't work. And this is like a bit of a failing with... Uh, farming simulator you you've got to have like the base game maps have got to have these huge great big square fields and they've all got to be perfectly square and they've all got to have runoff um distances at each end of them in order to be able to get them to work and this is something that definitely isn't realistic now if they were able to have an ai that could cope with corners and turns and that they could have a much more realistic looking map 
they could have a map that has got hedgerows and fields that go up to the hedgerows and fence lines and things like that because the AI would be able to cope with the complexities of doing the turns and stuff like that with the next-gen consoles. And if it can do it with the next-gen consoles, then there's much more of a chance that we will actually see it in a game. And it might not be something... I know that there are a lot of people that aren't going to want to hear this at all because it was originally a PC game, but we've got to face the facts. The fact is, this game is becoming a console game, primarily, and secondary is a PC game. Now, there are, Admittedly, there's a lot of people that don't like this. I'm not a big fan of this idea uh, because the mods that you can get for the PC are fantastic, but it, it is taking a back seat. It is taking a back seat in how the game is being developed and produced. We've seen that, and so we've got to accept it. We've got to move on, and we can be hopeful for the future. With the, there are still mods and stuff around, and the modding community is, as always, some are stepping back, some are choosing to focus their attentions on other projects, and some are adapting and working with the new reality of how Farming Simulator is. And so I'm, I'm hopeful that there's a lot of positive things going to come for this in the future. I don't know what they're all going to be yet. I don't know what the situation is going to be. I don't know what it's going to be like in the future for Farming Simulator. But I am hopeful that we're going to see some pretty cool stuff. Uh, one of the pretty cool things that I would really like to see is, like I said, some decent AI. If we could have some decent AI, that would be absolutely wonderful. That really would be the icing on the cake. And because of the decision, I don't know about seasons. I know that some people love seasons and some people really don't like seasons. Me personally, if seasons was to be introduced, if they would really change the base core game of Farming Simulator so that seasons was introduced, I would want it to be an option. I would definitely want that to be an optional thing because I don't always like playing with seasons. Don't always like having to spend ages you know, twiddling my thumbs, waiting for stuff to happen at different times of the year, especially when you're in early game with seasons, because you do a little bit, and then there's nothing to do for days, um, and if you have it on the wrong number of days for the season, then when you get to later game, you haven't got time to do anything. Um, well, your crops are disappearing and, and wilting in the fields and stuff like that, and it, like, I, I, so there are aspects of seasons that I don't like that, I like to be able to switch over to the base game for and then there are aspects of seasons that I absolutely love I think it's amazing and we just watched that tractor way down there drive straight to that tree did you see that did you see that I seen it there he is I should have just gone back one he, he went <laughs> he went straight into the tree just like that I don't know why he felt the need to drive into a tree that's got to be that's got to be a new one that one has I've seen these. I've seen these hired helps do all sorts of crazy things, but that one there, that they're driving into a tree like that, that's definitely a new one on me. Um, you, you no, you haven't completed anything. You can keep going. Oh, I see. Hang on a minute. No, we've we've done like half a width here. I'm gonna bring it out over this side, so that hopefully it will be able to go and do a width all the way up through, and I'll bring it to about there. See how he gets on with that. Might be able to go up through, and I. Need to keep an eye on this one as well. I don't want that one to get too excited and go whizzing up across the fields. I'm going to manually... Well, probably have to manually get it past this big stone now. And then we've got a little bit all the way along. And I've just got those like shorter runs still to do. So we're getting there with finishing all the raking. We haven't got all that much. But we're fast catching up with the turner over there. Um, he hasn't got quite the head start on the tractor and the rake this time round that it did last time. I think because last time I changed it a bit. Uh, I think I, I I think I just started doing the raking a little bit later. That's why we've got these differences in it. Now, are you going to be able to get... No, you are not, are you? You're not going to like that. So I'm going to just manually drive you on past myself like that. Get you to this point right here and I'm going to start you again. You're going to drop down there, and away you go. Right, that bit is fine. 
You're doing what we need you to do over there. You haven't got very much space, though, before you get to the grass. But I'm almost at... I'm almost done. I'm, I am almost done. We've got, say, three passes left on this one. Probably four, actually. So we might we might be able to do this. Helper B has completed it. That would be you down the bottom. I need to go to you next. Uh, you haven't quite finished, have you? You haven't quite finished. It, it, there was a little tiny smidgen there that you could still have done if you really, really wanted to. You know, the bit that was right in front of your window. Now let's go and just double check what we've got with our fertilizer situation in here. We're... Okay, well... Oh, of course. Standard. I keep I keep expecting it to be three, but we don't need three lots. We only need two lots. And the second lot will be done with a seed drill. Because the planter is able to put more seed into the ground. The planter is actually quite an exquisite beastie. Um... So we'll be able to use the planter to do that. But I don't want to be doing planting at the moment. I want to bring you back into the shed over here. Lower you down and just leave you there. I'm not going to wash you off. I'm not going to do anything else to you at all. I'm going to go this way. I need to get that wrapper. Move that one. That one's got to be put... I probably should have put the wrapper in the shed first. Because now it's going to be right in the way. Oh, I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to put the wrapper over here for a minute. Keep, we're constantly moving this wrapper around. He's always in the way. Never actually able to do anything useful with it. Get that cultivator on. I am aware that our puma up here is possibly going to cause problems. What are you doing now? It has already caused problems. What he's done is he's gone and driven all the way backwards across the field to the point where we went past that rock and then decided to turn around there. I still don't quite understand why the hired help does things like that, but, um, well, ours is not to reason why, is it? Uh, I'm going to instead, I'm going to start this one up over here. I'll put you down this side. I'm going to let you go from here. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. Not like that. I don't want to bring it back. I'm going to get you to there, I think. Is that going to be far? En that is far enough up the top, I believe. And I'll drop you down there. And then hired help goes through. Should be just enough to reach. And then the hay turner. Yeah, you are just able to reach that. The hay turner has got two passes left. And that one's finished. By the time the hay turner finishes, this one will be heading down that way. So I've just got to keep a bit of an eye that he doesn't keep going and do the bits that we've already done but he should be fine so you keep going you keep going and i can go over to you we can get that cultivator on and we can start you cultivating the canola stubble right into the ground a lot of farms that i've well no i say a lot of farms there's uh, one farm in particular that i worked on and did a lot of arable work on uh they would always cut canola really high so they didn't choke the combine up very much and i remember now this one we had to put the front weight on we we struggled with pulling this cultivator we ended up putting the front weight on didn't we we'll go and do that we'll have to take the console off and we'll have to put the front weight on and we're not going to be able to pull this properly so we will bring you over this way and I'll lower you right down like that. Um, I mean, the other option is to like, try and put something on the grab, but that's not really going to work very well for us. So we'll go over this way. I'm not going to put... Actually, I suppose I could put front hydraulics on and then put the big heavy weight on the front. I, th I think I'll do that. I'll do front hydraulics and put the big heavy weight on. It's not normally what you do, though. We're, like we, We've got our tractor with this setting so really what we want to do is we just want to put the front weights on that that would be the thing that we would go for now we've got that bit on there it's removed the loader console which i don't like it every time it or no no it hasn't has it or hasn't it stole console it did it removed it but it was only it only removed the appearance of it so i i leave stole console on there if i i then want to go to configuration standard 360 560, 760, 1,000. Uh, front hydraulic. Yeah, if you have the front hydraulic, you can't have it. But if I have the 1,000, I can keep the front loader attachment, which is the stole console, on here. Customize that bad boy like that. 
And then jump back in here. Don't need to dump that on the floor. But I've still got the loader console on here. And now I've got the front weight on as well, which is just going to help us out a little bit. So we go over this side. I've still got that trailer parked in the way. So I am actually going to do this a minute. I'm going to lower that down. Very quickly move the trailer, which I should have done first. We'll go and take that over onto the grain bin and tip it out. We can also see how much grain we got this time round. It'd be nice to see how much we ended up getting in the end. 22,000 litres in there. Plus whatever else we've got. The hay turner, is that? That one's finished now. Let's bring you up onto the bridge like that and start tipping you out. I'm going to jump up here, start you up, and just move you out of the way like I've done previously. I'm just going to drive you down over here a second. And, you know, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to, because I'm not doing anything else, I don't need to jump immediately into something. I'll drive you straight down over the hill. Uh, probably not a good idea to go bouncing down over it like this. That is a little bit rough on the old tractor. It's not really what we want to do, but coming down the hill... That should be fine. That's, that's not going to be a problem for it. You just straight down the hill like that. If it does get a bit much, you've got to run out down the bottom anyway. So you can run out down there if you want to. And then we can come around and we can go off into the yard. I'll put this one over so we can be um, washed off. We also need to fill this one with fuel. And we need to fill our other one with fuel. So I've got to... I'll do that now, actually. We've, we've emptied out the trailer... So the next thing I do, as soon as I've parked this tractor up over here, this one needs a lot of fuel. Right? We're, despite it being an electric tractor, it still consumes diesel. Uh, don't ask. It's time continuum type things. It's it's strange. We're, uh, no, nobody really knows, and it's best if we don't ask questions. And we're going to go to you. I'll bring that trailer around, and I will put it underneath the spout over here so that I can get some more feed pouring into there, ready for the cows. And then I can go and get me a little bit of diesel. So I'll start you in there, mixed ration like that, and run over this side. I need diesel. I need diesel. Uh, I am going to run out halfway around the field, and I don't have a fuel tank. I've got the money. I could technically go and buy one if I really wanted to, but I don't think that it's a very good idea. I would rather just do that. We'll start getting a bit of fuel. Let's have a look in here a second. We got canola this time around. We got 44,500 litres. Plus, we've got 30,000 litres of beans. Uh, we've got plenty. We've got absolutely plenty of crops. So it's that one that we really need now in order to make sure that the pigs have definitely got all the food that they're ever going to want. And we're in a position where we can start seriously looking at buying pigs. We've got the chickens producing eggs. We've got the sheep producing wool. The sheep are nearly full with their pen. Uh, the cattle are doing quite nicely, actually. We're getting much closer to full with the cattle. Let's put you onto there. Unfold that one. And I'm going to bring you over to this side like this. Just there. And then I'm going to go here. Control H like that. And I'm going to go there. Circle. AI extension like this. That's everything that I want in there. And I'm going to start. Right. You go there and start cultivating this field. My only concern is getting past that big stone down there. The rest of it should be fine. We can just leave this one going. But it's getting round past the big stone. I don't think that it will do it. I think he's going to get stuck. He is. Pretty sure he's going to. It's the only downside to the AI extension is that it doesn't like inside curves. See, it does that. And he's going to inside curve. He's not going to pull himself. I was wondering if he could like straighten himself out with it. But he doesn't look like he's going to. Not this time. So I'll bring him over there a little bit and start that again. Is he going to get round the rest of it? He sort of straightened out here a little bit. But he's, he's drifting over an awful lot. He's, no, he's going to catch it. I remember now. He caught the tree last time, didn't he? Yeah. It's just a little bit too much turning for it to do just in there. It didn't like it. But if I bring you out this side, he will then straighten up a bit. Straighten up, fly right. The rest of it, he will be fine. He'll go on round. He'll do whatever shunting and turning he needs to do. 
And we can let this one do a couple times round the outside. And then we can start doing the land work just straight up and down with the standard AI. And it will be fine. You are fine down here. And then we want to go up and we want to check on this one. This is the final pass on the field right here. There's a little bit over that end that we want to do in a minute. Which we'll have to do on our next episode because we've now run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.